Here I've chosen a figurative subject, a musician, to demonstrate how this paper performs when being used for technical and realistic pieces. I haven't done it with this paper. I will look at its behaviours and diffusions. It's not an overly absorbent paper. There are papers that have too much absorbency, but this is velvety and feels soft under a paintbrush. You can see that it's clear and great accuracy can be achieved. It has a significant amount of absorbency, but at the same time this allows for modelling. Here I'm creating volume with the tip of the paintbrush without damaging the paper. This gives me confidence in the paper's capacity to withstand my brush strokes. However, there is always a limit with this way of painting. This is rigid. This, however, is a rigid nylon brush. I wouldn't usually use it. But I can use it here and it works great. The magic is that I'm about to rub out what is underneath the pigment. The paper is durable even though I'm rubbing it with the brush. This is a really interesting result. I really am demanding quite a lot from the paper. Although I'm demanding a lot from the paper, it performs very well. I'm going to add a little bit of light here which won't harm the paper. Playing with repetitive abrasions like I'm doing, it creates a unique effect. It's a paper with a wide range of qualities. It is resilient, it keeps a good structure and colours look fresh and beautiful when applied to it. You can feel confident when playing with overlays of colour Upon contact, a velvety effect is produced which is very nice to work with. This is possible thanks to the softness of the paper. It's a beautiful discovery. <laughs>